What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have another drawing here for you. Last time we spoke about engine blow by. Engine blow by occurs inside the engine but that blow by there's no solution for that. I mean this normal stuff but engineers did come up with one component that's gonna release the pressure inside this crankcase okay. So all this is a crankcase over here. We have a small little drying over here. You have the oil pan down here. You got the intake air going into the intake. You got the throttle body flap. You got the valves, intake valve, exhaust valve, and then we have exhaust and the valves seal. This is the valve cover gasket here. We got the oil pan gasket. So, engineers came up with something called a PCV valve. Very important valve. A lot of you might think of it. This is not a big deal. To understand, working valve. The small little marble in there, but even that guy, if you listen to it, okay, it's good. You could clean this up, okay? A lot of people do uh, understand uh, and do say that they have cleaned the valve, but even a little bit, listen to this one and listen to this one. So there is a carbon buildup on both of these, if you can see. So what happens here is it's a small, it's just a, it's just a pathway with that little marble that blocks it on and off, on and off. So let's go into the diagram. So we got intake air, once this flap opens up, you got air coming in, air going in, and it goes into the chamber. Spark happens, and uh, all that pressure does this magic work to turn the engine. We got the piston ring, so we got a little bit of a blow by, blow by V6 engine, that's a lot of pressure. So, this thing can save you thousands of dollars in, in the long run. So we're going to talk about a few things that uh, go, could go wrong there and a uh, few things that would cost you hundreds and hundreds of dollars to fix all because you didn't replace the PCV valve and this thing is probably like $22. This is, came out of a Honda. All engines have a PCV valve. So we're going to talk about this pressure buildup over here. All this pressure needs to go somewhere, okay? If your PCV valve is jammed up, What's going to happen here is, uh, let's take another marker here. It's going to find the weakest spot, okay? The weakest spot will be the seal. So you're going to have oil leaking, oil leaking, oil leaking. You're going to have a puddle of oil. And oil leaking, oil leaking, and you're going to have a puddle of oil. So your gasket down here might take damage, okay? Another thing that can, can occur is, can occur, okay, and uh, if your valve over here, this is the PCV valve up here, and we got a dipstick over here. So this PCV valve right here, let's say for instance, it is, it's jammed up, it's blocked, it's clogged, because you failed to uh, replace it, okay. So, and all this pressure is built up in there, okay. So all this pressure, if let's say another piston would uh, be in a compression stroke and then... Uh, and a power stroke is gonna have a blow by some of the oils gonna seep up in here, in here, okay. Let's say your weaker spot here is a uh, timing cover, so you will have leaking on the side of the engine, it will still leak down here. Okay, so what happens here is so this pressure needs to go somewhere. So the pressure, you see this dipstick coming down, the pressure will go up, up, up in here, in here. You're gonna have a high pressure build up and uh, since this is blocked the PCV valve is blocked it got nowhere to go your valve cover is gonna start to leak so a lot of you would ask me okay why does did my valve cover gasket leak even though I replaced it, it didn't last that long it could be that your PCV valve is jammed up another thing I have seen here is the dipstick here Pam pops up. I had a customer that stated I did not put the dipstick back in. I remember putting the back uh, dipstick back in, and then he then we did we did it together and in front of him, and it popped again, and he did it again. Reason was there's a pressure buildup in here. Okay, so the whole point of this PC valve is to suck out that pressure, the fumes, gas, whatever you want to call it. It would go back into this and come back to the engine and be burned. Can have a blow by again. It's, good. It's, it's like a non-ending cycle. So the issues you're gonna have is 
It's going to find a weak spot, especially in BMWs. I noticed they start to leak. They tend to be people fail. It's a, the valve, the PCB valve is built in the valve cover. It's almost an $800 job to do that one, okay? Some cars, they're not easy. Okay, let's talk about the cost here, okay? I'm going to use a red marker because cost is dangerous, okay? You don't want to spend money. So, let's say I have a 2004 Accord. I do have a video up. Something like that can cost you reasonable with a good mechanic. It can cost you $490 just to replace the gasket down here. Let's say your timing cover leaked. It can cost you up to $1,000 just because you failed to replace that PCV valve. Your valve cover leak over here. I did one on a Honda Accord. Uh, they're easy. So the labor is like $190, let's say with the part, you're looking at $200, let's say $60, okay? So over here, you almost have like a $2,000 worth of gasket seal work over here. You know, do you really want to pay that stuff? You don't want to pay that stuff. Let's forget all that, okay? Let's say your valve jammed up and uh, all this leak happened. Let's say your valve got jammed up in a position where it's open, it's solid open, okay? We're talking about a valve that's gonna just, all the air is traveling through here, all times. What kind of code you're gonna have? You're gonna have a lean conditions. Lean mean too much air, less of a gas, okay? Engine and computer might do comp try to compensate with it, but lean, some mechanics, even me, I'd like to take a shot at it. Oxygen sensor, O2 sensor, 300 bucks, easy. That didn't work out. Some customer come to me, they just want something done, you know? Uh, MAF airflow sensor, M-A-F. Uh, $300, put it that way. I did a Nissan Sentra the other day. $600. And it's still lean. Misfire. Let's say you spent six hundred dollars on a misfire. Man, still misfiring. Random. Misfire. Bam! It's still misfiring. Okay, you're gonna go cuckoo. You're gonna go banana. Your pocket's gonna be drained out. Your bank account's gonna be drained out, and you're gonna end up junking the car. Just because of this PCV valve. Thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully, I helped you out and I cons uh, I convince you to do something like this. Change your PCV valve. Do it every thirty thousand miles. Okay. I do recommend a transmission flush, and I do recommend this guy at every thirty thousand miles. No matter what, thirty thousand miles. If you want to do it before that. Don't even try to waste your time cleaning it. You can clean it, but what's the point of it? You're going to waste some more time and uh, material probably 10 15 bucks when this thing is only costing you like 20 bucks. And some jobs are hard. Like I said, BMW, you have to replace a whole valve cover. But anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.